Hi everyone. Welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about vSphere scalability and what are the configuration maximums between vSphere 7 and vSphere 8. And configuration maximums, this is the us usual icon and this is the vSphere 8 new logo. Okay, and vSphere 8 scalability, vSphere 7, 7.0 update 3 versus vSphere 8 comparisons. OK, so specifically I'm just taking the example of compute resource only for the virtual machine perspective. OK, so within the virtual machine perspective, virtual CPUs per virtual machine in vSPS 7.0, the maximum virtual CPUs we can assign 768. The count is similar in a vSPS 8 version also and another configuration maximum is memory per virtual machine. That means each virtual machine, how much maximum memory we can assign, that is up to 24 terabyte. And this uh, maximum size is same in a vSphere 8 also. Okay, and another difference is virtual GPU, graphical processing units per virtual machine. Earlier, we have in vSphere 7, four devices we can assign maximum per VM. And in the recent VM Explore, VMware Explore 2022, officially VMware confirmed that. And vGPUs per VM in vSphere 8 version is maximum 8. So it's easy to remember based on our version, vGPUs also we can assign maximum eight okay and now let's understand the compute resource in a maximum host perspective okay and the cpu physical cpus per esxi host maximum in 7.0 is 896 and the count is same in vSphere 8 also and memory per esxi host maximum is 24 terabyte and even in the vSphere 7 and 8 both the maximum limit is similar 24 terabyte and when it comes to the virtual machine direct path input output devices per host this devices mini hba cords and we can access through the pca pass through devices all these devices earlier in 7.0 maximum is eight devices when it comes to the latest version we spear eight the maximum is up to 32 devices and another host maximum is host managed by vlcm vspr lifecycle manager it supports in our previous edition 400 and with the latest edition vspr 8 maximum 1000 esxi hosts can managed using vspr lifecycle manager okay and now let's understand the compute resource in a cluster perspective and host per cluster in our previous edition 96 vSphere 7.0 and even in our vSphere 8 also still the count is same 96 maximum ESXA host we can add within one single cluster okay cluster is nothing but a grouping of multiple ESXA host okay that is the reason icon is looks like this and virtual machines per cluster within one single cluster how many vms maximum we can create within 7.0 is 8000 but in the vSphere 8 the count is increased to from 8000 to it increased to 10000 okay so this is the maximum limit and i am covered for here specifically for compute resource if you the always the refer to the latest updates and the latest configuration limits you can verify from the vmware configuration maximum website for more details okay uh, similarly to the other i explained about compute resource and vm perspective host level maximum cluster level maximum even for the network devices storage information and all you can refer to this site so maybe soon vmware update all the vSphere 8 configuration maximums in this website and this information i collected based on the v, uh, vmware explore sessions okay and now let's quickly recap VMware vSphere 8 scalability configuration maximum. And here one key point is VMware has given an official configuration maximum, but in the real world scenario, if you want to increase our virtual machine CPU, memory, disk, or any of the virtual GPU, graphical processing unit devices and all, we always make sure that 
we have a enough resources within our data center and suppose if you are increasing a multiple cpus for our uh, production workload and make sure that within our physical data center we have multiple racks for example i just given two racks running with multiple esx physical servers with, with uh, on top of that we run a esx operating but make sure that our esx host physically we have enough resources or not before we increasing our configuration on virtual machines layer either it is a GPU devices or if you want to increase CPU memory, disk and IC and so on. OK, and this is the one key point. Always make sure that we should have enough physical resources. Then only we can able to increase on our virtual layer. OK, that is a basic funda. And now the following are the significant improvements to vSphere scalability. The first one, uh, the key point in our vSphere 8 is virtual GPUs per virtual machine changes from four to eight previously four now in the latest version is eight and the graphical processing unit icon is looks like this normally this i have this gpu card we have to be insert in our server physical layer through the pca devices peripheral component interconnect we need to insert this device okay gpu device example nvidia gpu cards and Another one, virtual vSphere lifecycle manager can now manage 1000 years success. Previously, it was only 400. Now, 1000 years success we can able to manage and we can able to update and upgrade all our years success from old version to latest version. So, so years success means multiple years success. The symbol is looks like this icon. And another key point is we can now manage 10000 virtual machines per cluster so within the cluster we can manage 10000 virtual machines when you are upgrading to vSphere 8 version okay and last but not the least each esxi host version 8 can now have up to 32 virtual machine direct path IO devices each. Direct path IO device means it is connected through PCA pass through. So normally in the PCA pass through device looks like this. You can use any of the device. We can connect on PCA peripheral component interconnect on motherboard. Then it will connect to our virtual machines as well. So this devices count also increases to 32 virtual machine direct path IO devices each ESX host. Okay. So this is a quick overview of vSphere 8 scalability and for latest updates you can always refer to the vmware configuration maximum website okay that's it for today thank you if you are watching this video first time please do view like share and subscribe to my channel gnan cloud garage and if you are already subscribed i appreciate all your support bye for now